with Evening Hyper Spinners. Today we're going to be talking through how to set up Pinball FX3, so get ready. Okay, so Pinball FX3 is an update to Pinball FX2, as you could have guessed. And the only difference is uh, many of the tables have been ported over to FX3. It's got slightly better graphics from what I can tell, uh, but there are some tables that are no longer supported, uh, or you know they just weren't ported over, uh, probably due to licenses uh, issues. But there are quite a few new tables, uh, so it is definitely worth uh upgrading to fx3 but in my opinion i've got both fx2 and fx3 set up still because there are some tables that i would be missing i, I did think about combining the two wheels but i figured you know i'll just do a, a, a system link to the media so it's uh, virtually free if you will for uh, uh the size of the media so yeah let's go ahead and get started and we will get this thing set up so Roadrunner off of Hyperspin's uh, website, uh, he seems to really like pinball like I do. So it's great because he basically maintains the themes for FX and he does a great job. So uh, he's actually put a pack on the download section, uh, which I've got up here. And it's got the, the pointers, the the themes, the wheels, it, all it does not have is the videos. So the videos, I had to kind of dig a little bit, but I ended up finding them. And what I'll do is I'll include them on the FTP. Uh, I searched pretty much everywhere that I could think of on the FTP, and I could not find these, uh, at least the complete set. So what I'll do is I'll just drop it in the uh, Dojo folder under Media. Basically follow the same root path to your system and uh, that dojo folder should be the same so it should be just drag and drop just find the media folder fx3 folder and you should be good to go i also uh, tweaked the rocket launcher media so the fade screen as well as the uh the logo uh displays just like the fx2 version does at least for my system so I'll include that as well. So once you've downloaded this pack, or the pack from the FTP, uh, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to go ahead and minimize that and just throw that download, you know, wherever you get it, on your desktop. And what we're going to do is, just like always, we're going to open up HyperHQ. We are essentially creating that folder structure here. So go to Main Menu Wizard, push the plus sign, and add a sub wheel. Uh, the name to that sub wheel is going to be Pinball FX3. You're going to push next a couple, a couple times and it's going to congratulate you that you've completed the task. So then go to wheel settings and we will be up to speed here. So once you've selected Pinball FX3 from the drop down, you're going to have the settings that I've got set up here. Everything's set to default, there's nothing to mess with here. The wheel setting, I've got a custom uh, sort of alpha watermark when a wheel is not selected. So I'm gonna push 0.15 because that's what my standard is across all the uh, wheels. And the navigation themes, uh, something, okay. So this is good that we're actually doing this. Uh, essentially, you always want the animated out default theme and the reload backgrounds, just to make sure that your themes are showing up correctly when you're toggling through your games. So you wanna check those. If you only have certain games, you'll want to check that wheels only, but I've got all the game or all the tables, and uh, that's why I don't have any of those things checked. So I'm going to go to video, there's going to be nothing there, sounds, nothing there, and then special art. You're going to want to, if you've customized your, uh, your systems, I've got a genre art in the top right, I've got the system name in the top left, and then I've got the... Uh, the year or the type of system that it is in the bottom right. So it just kind of gives you an extra uh, 
feel for the system. So that's what this is all about and the location of all that special art. I have all that on the FTP as well, so enjoy that. Now that we've got that set up, I'm going to go ahead and close out Rock, uh, Hyper HQ. And we're going to look at the uh, Rocket Launcher UI. I always struggle here because I, I want to call it Hyper Launch. It's Rocket Launcher. All right, so I'm going to go to the global settings. And what we're going to do is go to the emulator tab. We're going to scroll down to about where Pinball FX2 is if you're following the videos but you're probably not going to see this here because it was a custom module. You're going to push that plus sign and you're going to see something like this that's blank. You'll type in Pinball FX3. You'll find the path to your game, the FX3 XE, and then your ROM extension is going to be PXP. And your module is going to be Pinball FX3 uh, Auto Hotkey, which I will be supplying in the Emmy Movies uh, FTP under the Rocket Launcher folder, modules, just like where you would find your module folder. So just follow this path on the FTP and you'll run right into it. So I'm gonna go ahead and close that out because that's all you gotta do. And what we're gonna do is scroll down to Pinball FX3. Now something that I don't believe the uh, Roadrunner uh, pack is missing is the database. So while I'm thinking about it here, we're gonna go to the hyperlist. And what you're gonna do is hyperlist.hyperspinfe.com. You're gonna scroll down to the bottom here and you're gonna find the pinball FX3. And actually when I'm thinking about it, okay, yeah, so it's not even on here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna also include the database that I've got here. Uh, you can find this on the forums. I think ultimately that's where I found it. But what I also did was I added genres to each one of these. So let's kind of scroll down here to show you here. Yeah, I try not to do anything halfway, guys. It's it's all or nothing for me. So uh, there's Pinball FX, and I added the genres. So you can see that you know we've got you know the the list of tables there. So I've got all the art. Um, you know, for each one of these uh, genre arts as well as backgrounds, I'll be including that as well on the FTP, so enjoy that. I've also got a favorites list and then a favorites XML because that's just my style here. Uh, I like an editable list of favorites as well as a non-editable. So, um, yeah, that is the databases. You'll want to plug that into the database folder in Hyperspin in order to see your games. So let's go ahead and finish this Rocket Launcher UI settings uh, here. You're going to go to set the settings tab under main settings and you're going to just follow my lead here. Everything's set to global. Skip checks is set to false. And then bezels, I'm going to turn that off because I want a full screen for the pinball games. And everything on the bezel tab is set to default. And then we're going to check that fade general. These, remember, these are the three tabs that we care about on every setup. So everything here is set to default, so there was nothing that needed to be changed there. And then while we're at it, I'm pretty sure the pause is not something that we... Here, I'm going to check FX2. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So FX2, what we're going to want to do, uh, it's basically the same game, guys. So we want to make sure that the pause so I, I click the pause button here and then pause uh, tab here I've got history menus true okay so enabled false so what we got to do is go to pinball fx3 we're gonna go to the pause tab and we're gonna set that to false because pause does not work with uh, pinball fx3 or two so that is the only extra thing that you guys aren't used to seeing me doing uh, just because I, I just knew that needed to be done. So we're going to go back to the settings tab. We're all set there. And now we're going to go to the emulators tab. You're going to check the, uh, the game path. What you're going to do is find your Pinball FX3 folder. You're going to select data and then Steam. That's going to have all your table lists. And then your default emulator is going to be Pinball FX. You're just going to hit that magnifying glass and click that based on the setup that we just had uh, created. 
Next, we got to go to the modules tab. This is going to be a good time to uh, go to the FTP if you haven't already and get that module uh, and ISD file. And what you'll want to do is drop that in the modules folder under pinball FX3. So it will show up here. If it doesn't show up after you drop it uh, in the folder, you're going to push that uh, refresh button. But what we want to do here is just click on the little orange header paper icon, the edit global module setting. And you're going to just check the offline modes and set that to true. So that's it, guys. And all you've got to do now is if you want to launch the specific game, uh, you know, from these X's, then what you need to do is get the uh, cabinet code. And since I'm also waiting on this, uh, they're generally pretty quick about this. And, uh, you know, I'll just show you what I'm talking about. So uh, otherwise, if you don't have the code, it's just going to launch the XE. But once you unlock the, uh, the cabinet code, which is tied to a Steam account, um, you know, they just want one to one. I think what they're trying to do is they just want to make sure that you're not like at an establishment and you're selling like their games sort of thing. So, which totally makes sense. But what you'll see is uh, this here. So I'm going to go ahead and launch this. Uh, if you do have a cabinet unlock key already, uh, it would just launch that specific table. So it's just like Pinball FX2. In order to do the same thing, you had to have the cabinet unlock. Uh, key which you just ask and uh, they'll give it to you and I, I guess we'll pull that website up as well so you can uh, easily access it so we're gonna go and launch this table kind of check out the media this is actually the first run here uh, so the logo looks pretty good so there you go so instead of opening the XE it would actually open up the table if you had that unlocked so what we want to do here is just go up to the top here and click the uh, sort of pinball icon and then you'll just type in the code once they send it to you. Uh, you can click contact us but I'm going to pull up the, uh, the website so you can actually see that and uh, yeah you guys have pinball FX uh, you know set up in I don't know probably less than 10 minutes. Uh, so what we're going to do is say So here we go. If you go to pinballfx.com, uh, I'll put the link in the description below. Uh, but it's got some, you know, FAQs of what, you know, this cabinet mode is all about. And uh, yeah, you just end up contacting them uh, via email, and uh, they'll send you a code and uh, lickety splits.